and the, oh my God. What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Premedia back with another Dokkan Battle Showcase. And today we're going to be showcasing my 100% Fully Extreme Z Awakened Physical Kid Boo. And honestly, this guy is probably my favorite Extreme Z Awakening that's available on Global right now. Mainly because he does everything, man. On the one hand, he's one of the best support units in this entire game with that plus 2 key and 50% to attack and defense. But on the other hand, he's also a very, very respectable damage dealer. So, like I said, he's awesome. And I know not a lot of people are super high on him because people only care about the really, really big numbers, right? A lot of people are like, yo, he's not anywhere close to like Janemba, Gogeta. And when it comes to damage dealing, sure, he's not in the same league, but he just does so many great things for your teams that like, I mean, I just love it. I just love this unit. So anyways, enough talking. Let's take a quick look at what he's all about and then we'll jump into the showcase. So as far as this guy goes, solid attack, really high HP and decent defense. His leader skill is actually a rainbow leader skill, so he leads all types, giving them key plus 3, HP and defense plus 50%, and attack plus 80%, well up to 80% depending on how much HP is remaining. Honestly, you're probably not going to be running him as a leader too often, but it's not a bad leader skill actually. His super attack is planet burst, causes immense damage to enemy and lowers defense, and his passive, which is his main you know, his main uh, claim to fame is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50% for all allies when above 80% HP. And then when below 80% HP, he gives all allies attack plus attack and defense plus 30%, which is still a very, very solid, very respectable uh, passive skill for support units. So overall, a really, really good support. Definitely one of the best supports, if not the best support in the game right now. Let's jump into the showcase, guys. This is the team we're bringing. Resurrected Warriors, of course, a little bit of an unconventional team. This is not what I usually would bring for this team, but for the purpose of the showcase, I think it's actually really good because we want him to link up with this buff boo right here. Probably the best linking partner for him, or one of them. And uh, we have him here for support. So we're going to do boss rush, go through a few stages, see what he can do as far as support goes, as far as damage output goes, and then uh, we'll do a little overview at the end. Okay, so... Wow, oh my god, this always happens. <laughs> I can't believe it actually happened this time too. So, if you guys aren't aware, almost every single time I try to showcase a specific unit, um, they always end up being in the last rotation when I start a, or start a, start an event, right? So, this this time, same thing, the Kid Boo is literally in the very last slot, which means that he's not going to come back for another two rotations. Kid Boo should be back now. There we go, okay, perfect. So, between Cooler and Frieza, I believe Cooler links a little bit better with him. Uh, no, I lied. <laughs> they actually don't share any links. I take that back. My bad. I must have been thinking about something else. Yeah, maybe there's another cooler that links well? Either way, okay, they don't link, but we do have uh, Golden Frieza linked with the Kid Buu right now. Obviously not optimal linking partners by any means, but um, damage output should, should still be okay. We'll see. Here we go. What can Kid Buu do for us right now? Wow, okay, 1.3 mil. 1.3 mil, like I said, not an optimal linking partner. And he tanked that for 53 damage. Of course, it's not a newer Dokkan event, so it's not gonna be like, like they're not gonna hit super hard anyways. But like I said, keep in mind that, yo, Kid Buu is a support unit, right? He, his main role is to make the rest of your team hit harder. And I think he's doing that very, very well right now. So 1.3 mil attacks that right there, hit for a 1.5 mil. And that's without his best linking partner in that buff Buu that we brought. So. I'm really interested to see how high that attack stack can get to now uh, once we have that link, you know, the, the two boosts linked together as well as possibly a meta cooler rotation for the extra support too. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Okay, we cleared that, no problem. Let's move on. Keep, keep that in mind, guys. 1.3 mil linked with Golden Frieza. And of course, I also brought the Burrow Cookies as I always like to do because I want to see we can do like a little mini nuke test. It's not really like a serious one because otherwise I would have brought like nuke leads. But um, should, it should still allow us to do some serious like nice damage. Okay, uh, let's fight Frieza because he is in type. So we're going to have type advantage there. And it doesn't really matter what this boo does. But we'll give him orbs to get it super off too. And Frieza can not super. Doesn't really matter. Okay, kid boo, show me something. 1.5 mil. And the- Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that damage, guys? 
Oh, yo, oh, yo, okay. <laughs> Unless my eyes deceive me, this kid just did almost 4 million damage with the crit. Oh my god. <laughs> That's madness. That is absolute madness. A support unit, guys. A support unit. Who... Yo, who out there, whoever out there is saying that Kid Buu is not impressive, is not a good unit, go fight me, man. Fight me, because I, you will never change my mind about how good this guy is. And like I said, man, he is probably my favorite. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Golden Freezer is crit for 4 million, but Golden Freezer is a freaking category lead, man. It's a category lead. He's got two dupes in him. This Kid Buu is a support unit. My god, that's, that's madness. Okay, so... We should see some even more impressive damage here because we currently have Meta Cooler in rotation two with an extra thirty percent attack boost. Um, we should uh, well, we have type disadvantage, so maybe we won't. But the main thing to keep in mind, the main thing to pay attention to, is the attack stat before he actually lands the hit. If we crit, he's dead. One point eight eight mil. One point eight eight mil crit. No crit. Okay, that's fine. But still, man, almost two million attack stat. <sighs> Man, he's awesome. He's awesome. I don't think we even, even need to see more. Like, I, I think you guys have a good idea of what this guy can do. Um, maybe... You know what? Okay, you know, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going until we can get Golden Frieza, at least, like, Angel Golden Frieza in a rotation, because I want to see how much damage he can do with the full Kid Buu passive active, right? So right now, he's at 1.66 mil. Um, no, you know what? I'm actually gonna take Kid Buu out of rotation, maybe in a couple turns, and then eventually he can support the Angel Golden Frieza as well as the Tech Golden Frieza. Hey, you know what? Let's. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't want to take them apart, but you know what? I do want to see what Cooler can do with the support. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. Okay, so we'll let Cooler get a super off here, and I'm actually gonna take Kid Buu out of rotation because I want him to be a support, which is what you're mainly going to do for him. You're probably going to float him in the support, in the uh, floater spot so he can support as often as possible. Um, okay, 1.1 mil. But then again, we only got like 12 key for this cooler. Additional. Golden Freeze is dead. Okay, this cooler is awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't spent the Battlefield Memories, the Battlefield Jewels, to get him, definitely save up because he's amazing. He's amazing. Okay, we're gonna get, to, get a Dokkan attack here, uh, here, which is not ideal because this Frieza literally only has one bar of health, but it's okay. What can you do? What can you do? <sighs> okay, let's focus here. Try not to mess up on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, nice. Okay. Now I wish I was the Kid Boo, but unfortunately it didn't work out like that. Sorry, guys. If you guys wanted to see a Dokkan attack, um, not this time, <laughs> not this time. Maybe in a future video when I'm using him for some kind of team for a run, you'll see a Dokkan attack from the uh, Kid Buu, but for this time around, it's gonna be the Frieza. He's gonna do 4 million damage, he's awesome. Yo, this guy, story time, took me so many stones to pull. My first Angel Golden Frieza took me about 1200 stones to pull, man. It was dumb, it was so dumb. I just really wanted him because I really, really wanted to run um, the Resurrected Warriors team for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event, the EZA, that's available now, or maybe not, depending on when you're watching this, but either way, like, I, I want him so bad, and I just couldn't pull him to save my life, it was such a sad time. And next rotation is going to be great, because we're going to have Angel Golden Frieza, as well as Tech Frieza in rotation, as well, so they're, so they're linked together for, for great links, and then they're also going to be supported by the Kid Buu too, so, it's exciting, guys, I'm excited about this. Here we go. I am actually going to, you know, if I put Kid Buu in the first rotation, he's probably going to kill Goku Black, so we're actually going to put, uh, hmm, let's put Golden Frieza here, and Angel Golden Frieza can attack next, and then Kid Buu can take the rest of these orbs. Alright, let's see what Golden Frieza can do. You know, keep in mind his usual attack stats about a million, about, about 900, 900k or so, and he just... Got 1.4 mil, and he crit for 1.7. There we go. There we go. Increased his attack by 50%, guys. This is this is why. See, I'm a little bit hesitant, like to to call him the best support unit overall, mainly because it's a little bit inconsistent, right? He doesn't always get the the plus two key 50% to attack and defense because you know there's a HP restriction. But when you are above 80% HP, he is without a doubt the best 
the best support unit in this game, man. Plus two key, 50% attack and defense. Nobody else has that except for Kid Buu. And then after, if you fall below 80%, and he's still a very, very good support unit. So overall, he's just amazing. Definitely in the top like two or three support units in this game. But I think Turtles might still have him beat because Turtles does give one more key and all, he always gives the 40% to attack movements, right? So I think AGL Turtles overall, just as a pure support unit, is still better. But I mean, Kid Boo like way out damages, way, way out damages. Um, the, the turtles, right? So when it comes to damage, it's really not even close. It's really not even close when it comes to damage comparison between the Kid Buu to the turtles. So, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a toss up. You know, it's a toss up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think as far as like overall units go, whether the EZA Kid Buu is better or the AGL turtles is better. In my opinion, I mean, if I had to choose one, I'd probably still go with AGL turtles because he's just such a reliable support. But man, Kid Boo is just fantastic. Like, he's amazing. He's, he's so, so good. All right, uh, okay, we, we can support the, oh, this is actually good. So we can support the uh, Metal Cooler here. And we can actually get his, I believe we can get his 24 key. We can get his 24 key off. He's linked with the other Meta Cooler. And maybe Kid Boo can get an attack off too because we have five Cell Juniors. Uh, actually, he does attack a lot though, this cooler. Okay, 2.4, two, almost 2.5 mil. Almost 2.5 mil. Oh. Now, tight disadvantage. I should have paid attention to that. My bad. I should have attacked the tech one, actually. Damn. Missed opportunity, man. Missed opportunity. Can this cooler finish off uh, one of these cells? Yes, he can. Okay, and we can finally get the Kid Boo. 1.3 mil. Crit. No crit, but 1.3 mil still. Wow. So good, man. So, so good. Man, <laughs> you know what? As far as supports go, like I said, um, Turtles might be better, but I think I like Kid Buu more as a unit. Just because he does everything, man. He's a jack of all trades. Hits actually very hard. Like, I'm not even going to say like decently hard. I'm going to say he actually hits very hard just overall as a unit. Like, not discount, like not including the fact that he's supposed to be a support or anything. He actually hits very hard just as a unit alone. And um, then you factor in the fact that he's just such a good support unit such a freaking good support unit oh my god oh man <laughs> i'm in love man i'm in love <laughs> now it's got, that'd be kind of weird to talk about talk, talk about a you know jpeg in a game like that but you know what it's okay man the heart wants what it wants and my heart tells me that i want this physical kid boo wow 3.4 mil from the cooler too awesome okay we're gonna do one more stage just one more stage just so you guys can uh get a little bit more i don't know a little bit more kid boo action i guess and then we're gonna call it but you guys know how i feel i'm sure you guys have formed your own opinions as well this kid boo is so amazing he's just so fantastic i'm gonna leave him in rotation because i i want to see him uh come around more often um 1.7 mil okay so int angel golden freeze actually links quite a bit better and but it doesn't really matter because kid boo's gonna finish off here Goodbye, Vegeta. You're dead. Let's go. 1.3 mil. Let's get a crit. Only seen one crit so far. Two point. Ah, oh man. Almost three mil. Almost three million crit right there. If you guys are curious, I, I mean, if you didn't see in the beginning, I did give my Kid Buu 11 additional and 15 crit because I knew he was going to do pretty impressive damage, and I don't regret that. I honestly think that crits and additionals are the way to go for him just because he's, 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 he's still a damage dealer, man. Like, he, the traditional, I think the traditional path a lot of people go with supports is, you know, mostly dodges or uh, maybe mostly additionals. So maybe dodges and additionals and then as little to crit as possible. But when it comes to a support unit like this Kid Buu, it's a totally different story. Totally different story. You want to go with crits for this guy. And if you guys don't agree, that's okay. Like, that's your own, own opinion. But I think this is the best way to go for him. So let's give him a Debrook cookie here. Or at least pop one and see if we can actually get some. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's try one more. We're gonna try two. We're gonna try two. And I just realized actually that the Vegeta is SDR, so I'm dumb for <laughs> not noticing that. But you know what? Um, the Burr Cookie failed me. It's it's happened before. It's okay. It's happened before. I tried. And yeah, that sucks. Oh wow. Okay. That was a total fail. But you know what, guys? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> These things happen, and it doesn't detract 
anything from what's happened before, from anything that's happened before. Um, can we get another crit? No, I can't get another crit. Damn it. 2.7 mil from... Oh, wow. Oh my god. Man, he turned... Angel Golden Frieza was already a monster. He turned this guy into... I, I don't even know, man. That's that, that was almost 3 million attack stat from the Angel Golden Frieza because of the Kid Buu on rotation. Um, very impressive. Very, I, I don't know what else to say, man. Very impressive from the Angel Golden Frieza, but that was because of the Kid Buu, man. His attack stat would have not have reached anywhere close that high without the Kid Buu. It probably would have been around, uh, what, like 2 million? Yeah, probably around like 2 million at most. Whereas with the Kid Buu on rotation, almost 3 million. So not only does this Kid Buu hit super hard, he also makes his teammates hit really hard as well with the assist, with that support. Just, uh, man, just such a, such a good unit. Like, there's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to say. Let's call it here. Let's back out. Um, that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my god, is this guy good. Is this Kid Buu so, so freaking strong. So... He himself will hit about for about let's, let's say consistently like one to one point five million easy right one point one to one point five million two million if you're linking up him up with uh, another boo that shares a lot of his links and then taking into consideration the fact that every time he's in rotation he will increase the damage output of the other two units by fifty percent so let's say one unit was supposed to hit for two point five million right. Now they're going to hit for almost 3 million, right, because of the 50% boost. And he's just going to make your team just hit overall really hard. And you know what, I, I've been talking about damage so much, but I'm not even taking into consideration the fact that he also boosts de um, defense by 50%, so he makes your team more tanky. And he also helps with a lot of key issues, especially for Resurrected Warriors, a team that's very strong, but definitely has a lot of key issues. So he's going to help a lot with that by providing the plus 2 key when you're above 80% HP. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing else to say. It's nothing else to say. Kid Buu, absolute monster. I love these EZAs. I, I'm so happy that they decided to do this Extreme Z Awakening thing, and I can't wait to see more of them. Um, Beerus is probably the one that I'm that's probably coming next on Global, and I'm very, very excited for him because I do have him Rainbow 2. And uh, the one after that should be Janemba. Oh, no, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta should be before that. It's probably Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Beerus, um... And then in Janemba and Gogeta as the main ones. In between, we're also going to get the Broly, the, the Wrathful Broly, as well as the free-to-play Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going totally off track. All I'm trying to say for this video is that this Kid Buu is awesome, and I love this unit. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I mean, if you don't say he's a monster, then you're just lying to yourself, because he is. He's such a freaking monster, and I'm so happy that I was able to showcase him for you guys today fully extreme z awaken and at rainbow status but that's gonna do the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys had fun as always if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content but that's all i gotta say i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out